I rise to acknowledge a truly great Australian, Professor Arnold Dix, and for what he has done in once again improving uh, the relations between Australia and our great friends in India. 41 people are alive, safe and free. This is an extraordinary story. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I, I rise to acknowledge a truly great Australian, Professor Arnold Dix, and for what he has done in once again improving uh, the relations between Australia and our great friends in India. Uh, today, because of him and his hard work alongside the Indian authorities, 41 people are alive, safe, and free. This is an extraordinary story. For over two weeks, the world has been gripped by these 41 construction workers trapped in a collapsed mountain tunnel in northern India. As we know only too well, that's the sort of story that often ends in tragedy. But it didn't. And that's where Professor Dix comes in. He's the president of the International Tunneling and Underground Space Association, and he is an expert in these sort of matters. It was a painstaking process tackling a disaster like none he had ever seen. Professor Dix put it this way, if we make a wrong move, everyone dies. Not only does everyone die who is in there, but probably us as well. Uh, he, uh, he, his wife uh, sent him a message that she didn't want him to go in, but of course he did. And uh, if people have seen some of his uh, his accounts, it's quite extraordinary uh, what, what he did to help people who he's never met. Yet he and his team have succeeded. Uh, these 41 lives have been saved, families have been reunited, and our friends in India are quite rightly rejoicing. And so to uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, I say I'm very pleased that an Australian was able to come uh, to India's aid at this time. Professor Dick summed it up best when he said, it's about helping your friends. So two nations are now in his debt, Australia and India. And so to this great Australian, to his, his cool head and his, his big heart, and to his expertise in a very narrow area, I've got to say, I doubt whether anyone in this chamber...